Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Look for cost-effective ways to build your business. Now, this is very important. I don't care what business you in. I don't know. You could be a YouTube content creator. You could be a plumber. You could be a house builder. You could be a grass cutter. Always look for cost-effective ways to build your business. And I'm going to tell you what, because usually when you hear about people expanding their business, you hear about people having to get a loan or uh, some type of investor and everything. And you know what? That's cool if you really want to get big. But here's my philosophy. This is my philosophy. You don't have to do this. But my philosophy is just build your business up nice and slow. You don't need a lot of money. Like when I look at everything I built up, I've never had an investor. Let me say that again. I've never had an investor. You know, I just used whatever money I was making and built from there. You know, I built from there. And it would be a little bit of money. Like a little bit of money. Okay, like in a YouTube game, right? A lot, of, a lot of content creators, they might spend maybe a couple hundred dollars, maybe on a new mic or something like that. And that's cool. And that's all they did. Okay, they, they do that. They get a better sound. You know, maybe a couple hundred, few hundred dollars on a better camera. That's still cost effective because it's not, you didn't, you know, they could do that based on how much money they were making. And, you know, just build from there. Build from the money that you're making. Basically, the, with the money that you make it from your business, always have a portion of it to reinvest in your business. That's very important. When you're making some money, don't don't be that type. Uh, and, you know, you get a lot of people who do, a lot of businesses will fail. They'll get that money all of a sudden and go buy that Porsche. You know, <laughs> they'll, they'll buy, you know, some fancy stuff, start spending some extra money for their fun stuff. No, no. Now, of course, yeah, yeah, you need you need that money. You need to live, pay your bills, and all of that. But don't use that money just for. Don't automatically just jump in and buy just some frivolous. Well, I ain't gonna say frivolous, but just some fun stuff for you. Uh, uh-uh. you need to have a portion of that money. In fact, you should set aside a portion to reinvest in the business. And then, even when you reinvest in, you don't have to spend a lot of money. I'm gonna tell you what. Um, I remember hearing this before from a gentleman doing a lecture. He wasn't even a he was uh he was actually a minister. And he said, you know, business should go t- uh three steps forward, two steps back. Just take your time, but it could be small. And I was inspired to do this because I got some stuff coming in 2022 that uh I thought would cost a lot of money and a few years ago it would have. Because somebody was hitting me up about something and I was like, man, that's a lot of money. I mean, I would have had I would have had to get an investor to pay for it. But he this same gentleman hit me up recently and he said, Oh, it's just this much. I was like, What? <laughs> I was like, What? <laughs> Cause he said, because of the technology and everything, it's gotten way better. He said, because of the technology and you know, ability to do stuff has gotten better. So I was like, Wow. So for a little bit of money. Really, a little bit of money, I can have a big return. But it's small. Now, I use YouTube. Uh, it could be in plumbing. You know, maybe there's some new type of equipment. I'm not a plumber. If we have any plumbers on here, uh, let me know about way cost-effective ways that you can build your business. You know, it could be, I don't know, you could be in the food business. Uh, you make food. It might be some new tools or some better tools that you can cook things with better, better blender or something. You know, and it doesn't cost that much money. See, that's the thing. It's just sometimes a little bit. See, here's the thing. Okay, you take those little steps. You take a little bit. And then you could build your business and everything else up naturally. Then you don't need an investor. See, here's the issue I have. I'm going to be real. Here's the issue I have with investors. Investors, you'd be hard-pressed to find an investor who just simply give you some money and then just want to take the money back. Like just get paid the money back. You be hard to, I ain't saying they don't exist, but it's hard to. Most investors want ownership in your business. And one of my things is, no, I ain't giving anybody a piece of my business. No, I don't need, I don't, I, I, I don't need a million dollars. I can live quite well off of six figures, <laughs> you know, but I'd rather have uh, control. And I can build to a million dollars. 
Because one of the things, too, I say, if somebody wants to invest in my business, they see a way to make a lot of money. That means I can do it, too. But you still need to invest in yourself regardless. Even if you don't want an investor, you still got to invest in yourself. And here's the beauty of it. You can write it off anyway. (laughs) Every uh, piece of equipment I've used to uh, improve what I'm doing, it's getting written off. (laughs) Everything everything is getting, that's the beauty of it. You can just write it off. You can write it off. Or, um, you know, you, I forgot that word now, that word, the other word. Uh, you can write off a port. Let's just say write it off in general. Okay, fine. But you can do just like little things. Sometimes a little thing can go a long way in a business, you know. Now, the only time you might, now, if it's something bigger, though, you know, you might have to get an investor. Okay, that's cool. But let's be real. Most of us got small businesses. We started in our home. Our office is our living room, maybe a den if we're lucky we have one. We're not that big, you know? And especially a lot of people, they got uh, um, sole proprietorships or very, very small LLCs. That's especially, and it's tough. And honestly, even if you're thinking about an investor, here's one thing. You're going to have to build up uh, slowly anyway and small steps anyway because most investors, they want their money back. Shoot, most all investors want their money back. So you got to get to a point of success anyway for them to even, like, look at you. So no matter what. So it's like, well, hold up. If you're doing it like that, boom. If you able to, shoot, if they looking at you, they say, look, I invest a million. Okay, you know what you do then? You take a little bit, you take a little bit of money and start doing some research into, and more research into your field, which is something I need to talk about in the future. Sometimes people get in business and they haven't done adequate research, but that's important. But you always look for small ways, cost effective ways, ways that you can spend. Like you need to have an investment. You need to have your own investment fund. Yeah, don't spend all that money, y'all. Don't spend all that money. Have some money that is earmarked for investment, at the very least. You know? Like, we always talk about having a personal savings. Your business needs to have a savings. It needs to have an investment fund. So, anyway. But look for ways. And you can build, see, you can build a business in small ways. It could be just, seriously, you can go a long way just by improving some equipment, Improving some style, getting new equipment, I don't know, getting a good vehicle. I don't know, whatever it takes. And it's not, like, really uh, cost prohibitive. So, anyway, that's all I got for now, y'all. Y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money.